So I always tell people this, I've discovered Garmin manuals are written from, uh, the, the best way to approach them is this is the least you can do to get the minimum advertised performance. They hope you go above and beyond. So when they say something can't do something, that doesn't mean that's the reason you go to this one. So for instance, this one, you know, it's 200 knots or greater. That's why you peop hear people see, hey, don't get the GMU 11. If, if you're flying that airplane, you don't need the GMU 22 because your airspeed is slow enough. And that's why Garmin made that GMU 22. That's not the case. It just so happens the unit manuals say, hey, 200 knots or greater, you have to have a GMU 22 or a GMU 44. The GMU 11 is for lower performance aircraft. Well, that's the last time I'll talk about performance. That's not why Garmin has three different magnetometers. Uh, that's not the point of this. That wasn't Garmin's point either. That's just the flavor that's come out on the internet. It is. It just happens to be one of the minimums for GMU 11. You gotta. You gotta be under 200 knots. Past that, that's the last time I'm going to mention it.